First things first, you have to know how to give your dog a proper bath. Yes, there's a right way and a wrong way to bathe a dog. So if you want to find out more, stick around because that is coming up next. Welcome back guys, my name is Doc Fritz Resha. I'm an animal doctor and in this channel we post videos, cases, topics and tips on how to better take care of your fur babies. We are on Facebook, Doc Fritz Animal Wellness Center and we are also on Instagram, Doc Fritz Animal Wellness Center and my personal Instagram, Fritz Resha. On with our topic for today, you know most people think that the bath is just about getting the dog wet, rubbing shampoo into his coat, and then rinsing him off. But there is a lot more to it than that. You need to choose the right grooming products. Decide where the best place to bathe your dog and have a plan and drying him off. We have created a step-by-step -step guide to bathing your dog if you need some help with this task. First of all, I do not recommend bathing your dog in a bathtub. Instead, bring them to a dog wash station. Isang station lang part sa bahay nyo where you can bathe them, no? If you have a dog bath at home, then even better and easier. Alternatively, you can use a hose in your backyard or something similar. For dogs with arthritis, may mga sakit, no? And other similar issues, you can also buy a dog ramp or dog steps or make them yourself para madali silang makakyat. Here in Dogford's Animal Wellness Center, we have a grooming service. We always carry not only senior dogs into the washing stations, but all of them para wala nang problema because sometimes the owners forget to tell us of their dog's condition. It's just easier for the dog's joints regardless of their age or health conditions. No? So if your dog does not have any health problems of this type, then your own regular bathtub is fine. Dog owners with uh, small dogs can simply pick their dog up and plop them right in. Do not corner your dog to get him into the tub. Instead, ease him into the tub gradually at your pet's own pace. Because if you don't want, you know, you don't want your bath time to be negative experience for your dog. Stand facing his middle and slowly bend a little with your knees not with your back. Kasi if you do this, lalo na if you have multiple dogs, ako, ang sakit niya sa likod. Place one arm underneath his tummy and the other at his back for his front legs. Slowly lift upwards, do not fly up, and lift him into the tub. Gently place him down, standing up. Nakatayo ah. Do not make your dog sit down. Let him get used to the water. If your dog looks like this, Stop whatever you're doing. Let them relax for a minute. No? Putting stress on your dogs before they can even get into the wash tub will ensure that they will hate bath time forever. Once again, if you have an older dog or a dog with health issues, use a hose, a dog wash station, or a dog grooming table. No? I'm saying this twice because it's extremely important that you do not strain your dog just to get them clean and then once your pooch is in the tub the fun part of baiting your dog begins first ensure that the water is at the minimum hot temperature to look warm you do not want the water to be too cold or too hot Naku, baba, yan. At saka, ayawan nila yan. just it should be just enough that your dog will fairly feel comfortable Normally, you can fill the tub up halfway so that the dog can still stand up and feel the water on his legs. When you need to sit him or her down so that you can rinse the soap off her tummy, half the work is already done. Never start bathing a dog by getting him wet with a shower. I've actually spoken to people who, once their dog is in the tub, will turn the shower on to get their animal completely wet. To not do this. If this is your first time bathing a dog and your pup is easily frightened, he will no doubt scratch you while trying to latch onto you and get out of the washing tub. 
You can see in this video below how the groomer is wetting the area around this dog's head. So he's using a small cup, yung tabo, no, to slowly pour water into the head, tilt it down to his back. Alternatively, you can get a large cup kung wala kang tabo or, or, or even a small bucket, no? Fill it up with a warm bath towel and soak your dog. He's making sure that you do not dump water into the head of the dog and he is always very cautious of her ears. So in this video, you can also see him uh, wetting the area underneath the ears. Very important to clean that part. No? It's best to just leave the dog's face alone first, no? Because you don't want to get anything in their eyes, nose, and ears while bathing. Masisira yung momentum nyo. If you absolutely must rinse a dog's face, then wet your hands and rub around. Do not apply soap direct to the dog's face. Always keep water out of their ears. No? And if, if you do happen to get water in the dog's face, nose, ears, or eyes, clean them right out immediately and carefully. Now it's time to lather up. Lathering your dog up is pretty simple, but you must take special care in doing so. If you're finished working the dog through your dog's fur, but you do not see any lather, you're doing it wrong. Would you just rub shampoo over the top of your head and rinse it out? Nope. In this video, you will see how the lather should be. Kailangan talagang mabula. You should also be getting the soap straight down to the skin. Mas maganda if you massage them. And not just on the fur. Use your fingers in applying the soap. To do this properly, rake your dog's fur against the grain. During the whole bathing process, ensure that you give your pet lots of love and tell them how good and well behaved they are. Pet your pooch and continue to interact with him while you're bathing the dog. Now, giving him a small treat while he's in the tub is also a good idea. You know what works is peanut butter if you don't have any problems with that. Lastly, rinsing your dog off. Rinsing your dog is the simplest step of this whole how to bathe your dog home guide. You must ensure that all of the soap is completely off. Kailangan wala nang bubula. Soap left behind on your dog's coat will dry and irritate your dog's skin, especially if it's a regular dog shampoo and not a specialty one. So if you use an oatmeal dog shampoo, however, this should not happen, but you should get all of the soap off anyway. So take note of what the groomer is doing here. This is the best way to ensure that all of the soap has been completely washed off. As you can see, he is carefully working his hands through the dog's skin and fur while slightly squeezing to see if there's any soap or lather that comes up. You should be able to feel the soap either way if there's still some left. Slippery and soapy. So you should continue to rinse. No? If not, your dog is clean. Kung wala na napapansin, okay na tayo. Lastly, it's time to dry off uh, your dog and clean his ears. This may be uncomfortable for your canine. But unless you have a super absorbent mat waiting on the floor, drain and tub before getting your pooch out of it. So, you drain mo muna yung tub before mo sila, before mo siya ilagay sa floor. While you're doing so, it's a good idea to get your dog excited over how good he was behaving during the whole dating process. Ibig sabihin, pinapat mo, pinapraise mo, gustong gusto nila yan, tell them very good. You know, so even if I, kahit na may wrong struggle the whole time, show him a bundle of affection. TLC is very important. Once all your water has drained from the tub, quickly give the dog's paws a wipe and Allow him to jump out himself. Letting your dog leave the bathtub or the bath place on his own gives him a sense that he is in control now. And will let him know that bath time is officially over. Use an absorbent doggy towel and dry off or your dog off any way you like. This step does not require any special instructions as long as you are careful around your pup's face and head. So just get him as dry as possible. You can also use a pet dryer as an alternative. Yun lang, if you're going to use a blower, do not blow dry directly to the ears because it will affect their hearing. Before you do anything else, you're going to need to clean the dog's ears. 
This is extremely important, especially if your dog got water in your pet's ears and can be done while, you know, toweling them off or drying them off. It's a two-step process. So, kuha lang kayo ng towel with your index finger inside the towel. Place your index finger inside the towel and or a hygienic wipe or whatever uh, is uh, available, no? Or a tissue and put your finger inside the ear. Dito lang sa loob. So, that will absorb uh, uh, you know, moisture that are hanging in there. So, simply twist your finger around for half a minute and uh, take your finger out. Wipe the visible part of the ear off and repeat with the other ear. Parang tinatry mo lang. Your dog will naturally shake the, man, the, the water off, the excess water in the ear canals. But maganda rin if you, if you clean them off. And then when you move to the next ear, use a clean section of the towel or a new wipe. Para makita mo din if it's dirty. After that, you're done. Learning how to bait a dog at home for the first time is not that hard. However, there are important things that you must do and instructions to follow during doggy bath time to ensure that the experience is not a terrible one for your dog so he's not afraid to take another bath when the dreadful time comes again. So that's it. I hope that this video helped. If you have other questions regarding your pet's health and grooming needs, please contact any of our dog friends animal wellness centers or you may call these numbers or visit our website at www.dogfordsawc.com this has been your vet dog for see you again next week